Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all going to be about five ways that you can upgrade your home environment. And by that I mean upgrading your indoor environment so it just feels really livable and really homely and welcoming for you and any guests that you might have over. So that's the idea behind today's video. I just wanna show you some simple spatial interventions that I've included in my apartment to make it really feel like a home because I've definitely over the years lived in places where I would was very restrained with my style or I just kind of didn't really add in my own touches particularly if you're sharing the space with other people and you kind of have to take their taste into account I feel like it can result in a very bland space so I'm going to show you a couple of things that hopefully everyone can agree on but if not you could implement in your own space to just give it that really really livable feeling so if you're new here just a super quick reminder don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe subscribe button. I put up new videos every single week. So my first suggestion is something that is right behind me, but also that features very heavily in this current space that I'm in. And that is introducing some warm materials and warm materials can be done in so many different ways. But what I mean by that is just a color palette that really brings a bit of warmth into your space. So I'm definitely a big fan of minimalist kind of looks and things in terms of my fashion and my accessories and around my home. But I definitely did want to introduce certain accents and things that would really give the space a vibrant and warm feeling. So for example, this cabinet behind me is a rattan material and it has some gold handles, which I actually added on. So I substituted off the old timber handles. That's in an old DIY video, if you're interested in knowing where I got these half moon handles from. But there is just so many materials around this apartment that I really tried to introduce a little bit of timber and you know wicker kind of things and those sort of objects here and there I even have some bamboo in my kitchen and just a lot of those warming kind of things because if you are missing any kind of natural materials in your house and a lot of the surfaces are really hard white melamine or you know just like like a lot of metals and black and things it can really start to draw the space down and you don't feel that natural connection to the environment and to natural materials which you would kind of experience when you go outside. So if you liken your internal space to the experience that we get in the outside world of, you know, being around nature and trees and greenery, then all of these things that kind of give you that refreshed, happy feeling that you just can't quite put your finger on is really just bringing that indoors and getting a little bit of that warmth into your space. If you're not sure where to start with this either, you can hit up your local bookshop and try and find some inspirational home books and things there. Or you could just jump on Pinterest and try and find a bunch of home style imagery that really, really suits you and just have a look into that kind of feel. So I like that sort of modern rustic farmhouse feels so it's like using those old principles but modernizing it Scandinavian is another great example of using timber textures indoors and if you're really lacking inspiration you could probably just head down to your local Ikea and have a look around some of their staged rooms and things as well I think that's always a really good place to start just to get some ideas and get your creative juices flowing my next suggestion is an obvious one, but it's something that a lot of people don't do. And that is real plants and real indoor plants. So I know it's really, really tempting to just grab some fake plastic plants and put them around your home because they are low maintenance in the sense that they need no maintenance, but they do not give you the same feel as real plants. So first of all, indoor plants do contribute partially to improving your indoor air quality. And I do have an entire video on all of this and some species that are really good for that as well. But in terms of the general aesthetic and the feel that real plants will give you versus the other ones, there is literally just no comparison. Faux plants, definitely, if you can, I would highly suggest replacing them. And the best way to do so would be either head down to your local hardware store, for us in Australia, that is Bunnings, or head down to your local plant store and just have a chat with the people. So instead of just going on your own and having a little browse and thinking what you think looks the most beautiful, I would really suggest just asking them, what are some plants that would go well in my space? And that way you'll be able to describe your home or your apartment and say the type of lighting, 
lighting, like how many windows are available, where you're wanting to situate the plants and you'll be able to get some really good advice on them on how to not kill your indoor plants because this is something that I have finally gotten good at and all of the plants that you'll see in my place bar I think one which is sitting next to the kettle are all real and it definitely really increased my feeling of satisfaction and kind of connection to the outdoors looking in by having real plants in the space. Second to that, it also gives you a really purposeful hobby, whether that's during the week or on the weekends to potter around and go and check on your plants, prune them back, take off any dead foliage, and obviously water them to whatever specific schedule they need. So I kind of really like it and it is really rewarding when a new leaf or some new growth happens on the plant. So definitely recommend grabbing some new indoor plants, even if you just start with one and and really just kind of start expanding on your collection and maybe even consider propagating as well. So for example, I have some devil's ivy and this is one of the easiest things to grow. And I've been able to trim a lot of the growth off and propagate it into multiple other plants around my home. So that is a very cost effective one as well because it is pretty unkillable. And like I said, you can just keep trimming it, keep growing new roots on them and planting those new plants. The next item is some artwork. So art is obviously very subjective and I know this being a creative because when I was back in uni and we had to submit assignments, you would think someone's looked brilliant and then somebody else would not like it at all. So art is definitely personal preference and I think in that sense you should really explore your own taste and don't be too trend driven. So I know that of course, there's many ways to get art as well. There is, you know, one off high end pieces if your budget allows. There's also kind of mid range art where you could go into a store and pick out something from a collection or go to an artist showing and do the same. But also there are plenty of websites online and one that I have used a lot is called Society6. And this is not sponsored. It's just a website that I was told about by someone else. And when I moved into my place, I just wanted to get a few pieces, nothing too overpowering and just something to bring in a little bit of color. So I went on this website, searched up just some modern kind of art deco looking pieces and found a few prints, got them printed off. And instead of choosing the framing on their website, which you could of course do, I just went to Kmart and I bought my own frames and framed them myself. So there's definitely that cost saving option if price is something that's holding you back from doing this and you just keep seeing these hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get a framed piece of art online. You could simply just buy the print, which will come rolled up in a tube and do it yourself. Another way to make your home feel really warm and inviting is plush furnishing. And what I mean by this is if you have timber flooring like I do in this apartment, it's to add a rug in your living area and something that is really beautifully soft under the foot. So I'm not really a fan of piled carpet that's a little bit scratchy feeling. So of course, if you're in a home and you can renovate or do different materials in the rooms, then I would absolutely suggest doing so and finding a really beautiful plush pile carpet that's going to last you for years to come. But if you're a renter and you can, I would definitely recommend trying to have a look online or go in store and find a few rugs that you could put throughout your space just to add that extra warmth, not only underfoot, but also visually to give a little bit of differentiation between the floor and the space. And I think you'll find it also really zones off a space very nicely because instead of kind of just having a lounge and a coffee table floating in space and having no real defined borders to the particular parts of each each room. This will actually help you section off your spaces. So it feels like the living room is the living room or your bedroom is there, or you've got, you know, a floor rug outside of the shower or something like, you know what I'm talking about, a shower mat outside of the shower. And instead of it just being a really boring one, maybe it's something that really ties into the whole theme of your house. So in my case, I have a little bit of a Moroccan theme going. So I've got a bath mat that kind of matches the floor rug. And if I could, and the timber ran into my bed, Room, I'd have another rug there too. And that is another tip from me. I don't think that rugs look good on top of carpet. This is just a personal preference. Of course, your own house is your own, but it's just some advice that I think if you do have a carpeted space and you're going to put a rug on top of it, it's just going to look like it's clashing and it won't quite have the right effect. Another way to get some beautiful plush furnishings into your house is of course with cushions. This is a really affordable one because you can buy empty pillowcases and fill them up yourself. If you're good on a sewing machine, you could perhaps make them yourself because they are really simple shapes as well. Or also you could include some throw rugs and things. So you can see one behind me right now. I do have a throw rug and 
Again, this is a really great way that you can update the color scheme in your house by just getting some new pillows and a throw rug and kind of refreshing the theme. And I've got two. So I have a pink theme, which is more of my summer, really warm and vibrant feel. And then my winter color scheme are these sage and olive greens. So just depends what you like in your house, but I think it's really fun to be able to have things that you can chop and change in that regard. And it will really just make your guests feel a little bit more at home as well as you by having a bunch more pillows and things that you can actually really relax into. My last tip for having your home feel really warm and welcoming is a signature scent. And this is obviously something you can change up all the time. And it's definitely a really affordable option as well. So around my home, I have many different candles and I'm constantly burning them because I just think it's beautiful to actually have a scent to your home. And it also can take away some food odors and just general smells and things that might be lingering in the apartment and just give you a beautiful experience when you walk in the door. And as well if you're going to have some people over that it might be something that is really really nice as well i also do this with some reed diffusers and i love these i think they're a great way to just have a scent in the space there's also wall diffusers and all sorts of different options for these things i think the old school version of this reminds me of my nana's place and that would have been bowls of pot puree back in the day but i think now having something really beautiful and modern that's also a lovely piece of decor to actually visually look at as well like a reed diffuser can really really add to your space so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed these quick and easy five affordable steps to upgrading your home to make it just really feel more livable for you your guests and anybody that you might be entertaining in your space Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.